Yeah, and here it is in the studio with us. Congratulations, Paul. Yeah, this is the new Master Sizer. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's, there's nothing like having it live in the flesh, being able to see it. So it's great to have the instrument in the studio. It looks remarkably the same, but it's definitely different. So can you tell a little bit about that? Absolutely. Um, yeah, so the Master Sizer 3000 Plus brings with it all of the fantastic features that we had with the Master Sizer 3000, the compact size, the ease of use in terms of operating the hardware. But in addition to that, we've made some really impactful changes. So with the hardware, there's been a lot of effort to optimize what we had. So improving robustness mm -hmm. when measuring even those most challenging samples. So you're getting the same excellent data, but faster with less trouble. And we also bring through so much flexibility. So in front of us here, we've got a range of the different accessories, the dispersion accessories for wet and dry dispersion. And that's all about catering for different sample requirements. So yeah. customers want to test suspensions, powders that have very different behaviors. And with these dispersion accessories, we can allow that. Yeah, so it's a versatile instrument as well. Absolutely versatile. Um, yeah, the mantra is any sample, any user, uh, you know, we're generating the best quality data with the master size of 3000 plus. Adaptive diffraction, can you explain in short what it, what it does and why it matters? Absolutely. I mean, adaptive diffraction, you know, there's no qualm. It is definitely a leap forward for particle size analysis. It's a paradigm shift, yeah. as it were. It's a new way of looking at laser diffraction data with that core of machine learning to classify your data, as the video explained, as either steady state or transient state. Mm -hmm. So to put it into context, an example, um, that people might really kind of, you know, uh, identify with is you've got a great method, you're running that method expecting to see one result, but oh no, you get a, an additional peak in your particle size distribution. You know, that then peak... The question is, what is that? Exactly, yeah, what is that peak? I mean, it could be a bubble, it could be a coarse particle that's left over from a previous anal analysis. And previously, yes, users might be left scratching their head thinking, well, is that a real particle or is that something else? Adapted diffraction with the new size short measurement mode that we're introducing within Master Sizer Explorer gives real insight and clarity on what is your sample and what is not, uh, in essence. So they can be assured that they've got the best quality data for their sample and they're getting more and more insight as to what those additional uh, features in their PSD are.